According to a recent report from news media, the Defense Acquisition Council is likely to abandon plans to integrate the Defense Research and Development Organization's experimental AESA radar into Rafale M jets. The decision was made after determining that the expense of installing a new radar system into the Rafale M would be excessively expensive and potentially cause further delays to the project. The Indian Navy desperately needs Rafale M fighters for its latest aircraft carrier, INS Vikrant. The restricted number of MiG 29K fighters on board INS Vikramaditya, combined with the necessity for modifications, necessitates the entry of Rafale M aircraft. The DRDO's experimental radar was likely the UTAM AESA radar which is now being developed for the Tejas MK2 and MiG-29K programs. It is unclear why the DRDO and Navy wanted to replace the current RBE-2, active electronically scanned array radar, on Rafale fighter jets with this new radar. One possible rationale for contemplating the UTAM AESA radar was to increase commonality throughout the Indian Navy's fighter fleet, hence simplifying logistics and maintenance. Integrating a locally built radar system could also be consistent with India's larger, Make in India policy which aims to reduce reliance on foreign technology while increasing self-sufficiency in defense capabilities. With the choice to keep the ESA RBE-2 radar on the Rafale M, the Indian Navy will continue to benefit from a battle-tested, high-performance radar system that is fully integrated with the Rafale's combat system. Meanwhile, the DRDO will continue to work on building the UTAM AESA radar for the Tejas MK-2 and potentially future MiG-29K fleet upgrades, contributing to India's rising defense technological capabilities. Dr. Samir V. Comet, chairperson of the DRDO, stated on Saturday that India's Indigenous Air Independent Propulsion System AIP will be integrated into the Indian Navy's Scorpene submarine by 2026. This strategically vital breakthrough is expected to dramatically improve the submerged endurance of diesel-electric submarines, a critical capacity for naval operations. The declaration came during Comet's convocation address at the Defense Institute of Advanced Technology in Pune, where 271 students graduated including numerous serving officers from the Indian Armed Forces. Comet emphasized the value of collaboration in defense research, citing the successful development of the AIP system by a small team of scientists at the Naval Materials Research Laboratory in Ambernath. The AIP technology, which allows conventional submarines to remain submerged for extended periods of time without having to surface for air, will be retrofitted into the INS Calvary, a Scorpion-class submarine, during its refit in 2026. This improvement will considerably improve the Indian Navy's stealth and operating capability. The indigenous development of AIP technology is a huge step forward for India's defense capabilities, boosting naval power and self-reliance in a fast-changing geopolitical context. While working on Project 75 India and the nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine program, India also began preliminary studies for the design and development of an indigenous conventional submarine under Project 76. In a significant step to strengthen its naval capability, India has launched ambitious submarine acquisition and development initiatives. These projects seek to upgrade the Indian Navy's underwater fleet, strengthen its strategic capabilities, and encourage local military manufacture. India has launched a new forward-thinking project called Project 76 or P-76, which aims to increase self-reliance in submarine technology. This effort aims to construct and deliver six next-generation diesel-electric attack submarines to the Indian Navy. The endeavor is a collaboration between the Defense Research and Development Organization and the Navy's Warship Design Bureau. According to sources, DRDO has undertaken basic research for the design and construction of an indigenous conventional submarine called P-76. Accordingly to experts, the P-76 will be designed, developed and manufactured entirely in India, without any foreign collaboration. The most ambitious project, P-76, is still in the preliminary study and design phase. Actual construction is likely to commence in a few years. India's defense sector is likely to receive a huge boost, with DRDO Chairman Samir Khamet announcing on Saturday that the organization's production value is expected to treble within five years. This development is attributable to the Indian military services increasing use of DRDO-developed equipment, as well as a boom in international interest, particularly for BrahMos missiles, ATAGs, and Panaka rocket launchers. Speaking at the Defense Institute of Advanced Technologies Convocation event, 
Kamat emphasized the importance of India's emphasis on self-reliance in the defense sector. He stated that numerous DRDO systems, such as BrahMos missiles, radars, sonars, ATAGs, and Panaka, have sparked interest not just in Southeast Asian countries but also in European nations. Comet also shared updates on different DRDO programs. He emphasized the successful development of tactical missiles and the impending introduction of a man-portable anti-tank, guided missile, and a light tank. Emphasizing the DRDO's commitment to innovation, Comet said they are actively working to adopt disruptive defense technologies emerging from recent conflicts like the Israel-Hamas war and the Russia-Ukraine war. Furthermore, he claimed that the Naval Materials Research Laboratory has created an air-independent propulsion technology that will improve the underwater endurance of the Indian Navy's conventional submarines. He also emphasized the formation of 15 academic institutions of excellence for high-technology projects, as well as collaboration with commercial sectors, which included funding of up to Rs 50 crore for indigenous research and development. The Gas Turbine Research Establishment GTRE, has published a tender for a cutting-edge engine performance measurement and monitoring system, PMMS. This innovative technology is intended for use in GTRE's mobile test facility, MTF, where it will be important in assessing the performance of several gas turbine engines under real-world operating situations. The PMMS is envisioned as a comprehensive and integrated solution that can acquire, record, and analyze a wide range of engine performance parameters. During MTF operations, the PMMS will collect and monitor critical engine data to provide insights into performance, identify areas for improvement, and ensure optimal engine health. By allowing for close monitoring of engine performance, the PMMS will considerably improve the safety and effectiveness of GTRE's ground test methods. In a historic turn, the Pakistan Army has formally admitted its involvement in the 1999 cargo conflict with India. This comes nearly 25 years after the incident, which sparked a tense standoff between the two nuclear-armed neighbors. Pakistan Army Chief General Asim Munir stated in a speech on Defense Day that in 1948, 1965, 1971, or the cargo war between India and Pakistan or Siachen, many have sacrificed themselves in them. This is the first time the Pakistani military has publicly recognized its direct involvement in the cargo war. Throughout the conflict, Pakistan adamantly denied direct military involvement, describing the infiltrators as Kashmiri freedom fighters, or Mujahideen. Islamabad maintained that Pakistani military were just actively patrolling the area, with tribal leaders occupying the heights. The Pakistani army's admission marks a substantial shift from its earlier stance, and may open up new options for conversation and reconciliation with India. It also raises doubts about the genuine nature of the conflict and Pakistan's role. This recognition is expected to have far-reaching consequences for India-Pakistan ties, and it is unclear how India would react to this development. That's all from YKS team for now. If you like the information, then please do share and give a like. You can also become our channel member and support our work. Thanks for watching.